Hey everybody, David the AI Guide here. Welcome to another episode and thank you for subscribing, sharing, and liking. And please follow us on Facebook and Twitter as well as YouTube. So today is a topic we've talked about before and we're going to keep talking about it because it's very important and it's privacy. And uh, Google has now rolled out its AI-driven reservation service to 49 out of the 50 states here in the U.S. and is also preparing to roll it out globally in other countries. So I don't know if you remember this, but uh, what seems like a long time ago now, almost three years, May of 2018, Google released an audio of this uh, AI bot answering a phone call to schedule a hairdresser appointment. So it's been three years since then almost. We're one month shy of it, but let's call it three years. And they're just now rolling it out. So what is the delay then? Well, the delay has not been technical. The delay has been human. So what do we mean by that? Well, here in the United States, not only do we have federal privacy rules, but we also have state-by-state -state privacy rules. And it turns out it took Google a long time to program in all of the different rules for all of the different states, save one, uh, to allow them to sell and let companies use this AI chatbot. And we've talked about chatbots before, but they answer the phone and they do things like customer service. And uh, Duplex is going to be targeted at doing restaurant reservations and also uh, hairdresser appointments, salon appointments, um, massage appointments, probably all kinds of things like that. And these are low value added tasks, except that it's pretty important that you get your customers signed up and give them a good experience on the phone. But they're not actually value added like delivering a product or service to your customer that hopefully they love. And that is the goal is to provide a service or a product that people are fans of and love. So navigating all of these different states' rules clearly took a very long period of time. This duplex thing, you may remember from three years ago, was very convincing that it was human with lots of ums and ahs and okays and all that stuff. And it's so human sounding that many states passed a rule saying that whenever an AI chatbot answers the phone for you rather than a human, that has to be disclosed. And this is not the old automated attendant that says press one for this, press two for that, press three for the third thing. This is interactive, fully interactive. And um, so, you know, there's concerns that people aren't aware that this is not a human being they're talk, talking to. So many states required that these AI chatbots announce that they are that. <laughs> and Google has now built that into Duplex along with a bunch of other stuff. So what does this all have to do? Well, it has to do with privacy. And what does that mean? Well, if you are a heavy social media user and not cautious about your use of social media, people pretty much know everything about you. It's well known now that employers use social media to screen candidates because if you look like a lunatic on your social media, a company isn't going to hire you because of what you've done and voluntarily posted in public, I might add. But this is different. If you call a doctor's office 
that's supposed to be private to make an appointment. Uh, and there's special rules to protect medical information specifically. But in general, uh, let's say you're a celebrity, you don't want everyone knowing what hairdresser you go to, where you go to get a massage, where you go to get your nails done, if you're female or a few males, uh, stuff like that. So privacy is a real issue. And as we all know, there's been a lot in the press about Google and privacy. And while I could devote an entire episode to that, suffice it to say that Duplex takes these privacy concerns to a whole new level, including copies of your voice that are now in the possession of Google. Uh, of course, if you're a YouTube creator like me, they already have that. Uh, but again, I voluntarily decided to do that. And again, for routine appointments, people are not voluntarily uh, exposing whatever they're calling about to being public. So privacy is going to be an ongoing issue. Uh, in many countries overseas, the laws are entirely national. So what Google will have to do to comply with these privacy laws is just meet the requirements of the country that they're dealing with. But here in the United States, uh, with our federalist system of government, meaning some powers are held at the federal level and the rest remain at the state level, um, many things are regulated by the states and there's wide variance from state to state, particularly in the current very divisive political climate here. So uh, what one state thinks, okay, another state doesn't. And that's why it took Google all these years to perfect duplex, supposedly, and uh, comply with all of these regulations in 49 different states. But now they've done it, it's out. And so how is duplex doing? Well, duplex, as it turns out, like all AI, is not perfect. It needs time to learn. And because it hadn't really been rolled out in mass, uh, and we all know that voice recognition technology has improved dramatically in the last three years, like night and day. So duplex is much, much, much better than it was when it was first publicly unveiled three years ago, but it still has an error rate, if you will, of 25%, meaning 25% of calls a human being has to pick up and complete the call because uh, duplex can't understand. And that could be for many reasons. It could be for heavy accents. It could be for um, a multitude of reasons. Uh, but even when duplex does get the basic information down, there's still times when something errors out and a human has to uh, intervene and complete the call, and that's 19% of calls, aside from the 25% that have to be handled by a human being to begin with. But here's what we know about AI and what makes AI so different, is that with machine learning and especially deep learning, it has driven these very, very rapid advances in things like computer vision and voice recognition technology, and it will learn very quickly. So that error rate, now that Google can roll out duplex publicly to companies across the United States and soon the world, that error rate will disappear very quickly. It will go down to something that's basically immaterial, less than 5%. This is gonna be revolutionary because today is 2021. I'm going to say by mid-decade 2025, uh, duplex will essentially be error-free and with wide adoption 
falling in price and therefore become ubiquitous, <laughs> meaning everywhere, or something like it, one of the competitors to Google. And there are many companies in the voice recognition field right now besides Google. But all this is to say that this is the wave of the future and all of these jobs that used to exist like receptionists, which are already mostly gone thanks to the automated attendant, but uh, receptionists in personal service enterprises like hair, nails, uh, massage, etc., will also disappear, and that will be further accelerate, accelerated Sorry, by robots. And we've talked about that, that robot technology is now on steroids and advancing super fast, and it's not going to continue to advance in the short time frame that voice recognition technology will evolve to become everywhere doing everything. But uh, it will within a little bit longer time frame by 2030. <laughs> and I've talked about that, get ready to be greeted by robots at Starbucks by 2030. But that's a whole different thing. We'll see how that evolves. But voice recognition technology and specifically Google's duplex are going to change the way that people interact on the phones with the companies they contact. So thanks a lot. Talk to you soon. If you want our free resource on how to protect yourself from AI automation, click the link below and we'll talk to you next time. Take care. Bye.